<laughs> good morning, good morning. Still up in northwest Georgia, northeast Alabama area, and uh, it just keeps getting more beautiful every morning that I've been coming out here. The weather's been fairly steady. Uh, water temperature has been fairly steady. It's actually getting a touch warmer because it's been warm in the afternoon. It's been in the 80s, mid 80s. Uh, so now, right now, it's about 67, something like that. So uh, anyway, great start to the day. I'm on Lake Weiss again. Um, if I'm catching fish, I'm gonna keep catching fish, guys. I'm not gonna change what I'm doing. Um, why, why would you not come out here? Look at this. Why would you not be out here? This is fabulous. So uh, let's see what we can catch. Oh, one bad piece of news is uh, my hat. Um, I noticed I had put the minnow bucket in the back seat of my truck because it blows out. Uh, and the reason I know that, if you put it in the in the in the bed of your truck, I've had it blow out of the bed of my truck probably 20 times. So finally, you know, because I'm real smart, I finally decided, you know, I just need to start keeping this in my truck you know cab so anyway i had it in the back seat and it leaked minnow water all over my uh hat so i got minnow water all over my hat i don't know i I'll, i still need to wear my hat got a little bass i believe yeah look at that dude jumping in the air doing all the bassy kind of things that bass do even as small as he is, he thinks he's something. Yep. He is something. Look at that. Is this another bass? It is. Two baby bass. That's fun. That's fun times. I'll take it. My Paul was watching my videos the other day and he got on to me because I had my metal bucket in the back and he was like, Where you your metal bucket in the front? And I said, Well, why don't you shut up? But he was right. I should have my metal bucket in the front instead of walking back there every time. But when you're not catching any fish, you don't hardly ever have to go back there, so it ain't no big deal. But now, I'm catching bass. Would you look at this? Another little bass. This is really strange. This is really strange. I mean, that is just not... expecting to be happening Maybe I need to start bass fishing but I'm not bass fishing for bass that size that's for sure that's not gonna happen so I'm gonna bass fish go for the big boys drop it down some see if that makes a difference see where my knot is that's where the float goes up to so the distance between that knot and down here is how deep it is so let's see if that makes a difference if I change my depth because sometimes the crop will be a little deeper sometimes they'll be a little shallower well guess what little bass this one is a little bigger he's the boss hog of all the bass around here <laughs> a 
Ayo. <laughs> this is crazy. It's kind of fun. <laughs> kind of fun. How many is that? Four. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, this is a crappie. This is a crappie. This time. Everybody calm down. This is a crappie. Pretty decent one. Now, what are you doing in there with them bass? You have no business. Been in there with them bass. Not a bad one. Oh. What we got this time? Oh, he's acting like a bass. No, it's a crappie. Man. I don't know, guys. I don't know what's going on. All I know is I'm catching some fish. Well, I know. That's all I need to know. <clears throat> These little old bitty hooks I'm using can be kind of hard to get out of their top of their mouth. Yo, scrubby. It's funny, you'll come out here one day on these bridges and they'll be on these pilings over here on this side. You'll come out here the next day. Be on these pines over here on the other side. It's like they could just be anywhere. There we go. Here we go. Another little bass. Now we're talking. Getting a little bigger. Still not what I would look for. Look at that sore on his lip. Right there, somebody's caught him. Oh! Wasn't me. I didn't catch him. Well, I don't think I did. I might have. Got something. Oh, crappie. Okay. Okie dokie. Okay, dude. Come here. Come here to me. Be still. He got my hook. It's okay, I got it back. What do we have this time? Surprise, surprise. Okay. Okay. Well, this time, we got the target species. White crappie. A little white crappie this time.
Okay, so we got a couple of brush piles apparently under this dock. Minnows might I might be able to fish minnows right here. I'm not talking much because there's people out here. And I don't want to seem weird talking to myself. Although the guy over there is talking to his self. swimming with it before it even got going good okay there you go <laughs> got him time. Ooh, this feels like a good and it is Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, I knew that was going to come off. Oh, I need to get me a net. Man, that was a good one. This all of a sudden is becoming very productive. Guys, I gotta tell you, I decided I was gonna do like two things at once, okay? I anchored out, which is well, well, like three things at once, and I was gonna fish with two poles, okay? I had bites on both the poles. It was like, it was like a, a zoo and a circus and a goat roping all at the same time. I was like, what in the world is going on? And uh, for right now, I'm just going to fish with one pole. I see these people all the time, man. They'll have like eight and ten poles out and sitting. They got all these rod holders and stuff. I can't. I don't know if it's because I'm a bass fisherman or what. But I can't fish with two poles. <laughs> I just, oh, it's killing me. But it's okay if I'm catching fish. I mean, it's okay if I'm roping goats and whatever. It's okay. Yeah, when I was over there uh, shooting those docks, I was getting a lot of bites. I caught, a, caught some fish. But I couldn't talk because there were people all around there. 
on their docks and stuff. And I'm going to tell you now, this one guy, I mean, I should have talked because this one guy, he was talking to his cell. Maybe he was talking to his dog. He did have a dog. So I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. And uh, I'm going to assume he was talking to his dog because he was doing a good bit of talking. <laughs> a good bit. <laughs> and uh, he was kind of animated, fella. A little bit animated. A little touch, a uh, little, I don't know, kind of a Unabomber kind of, you know, vibe to the guy with the hair and the, all that. So I didn't think I needed to really be, I didn't want to draw a whole lot of attention to myself, to be honest with you. Okay, there's another um, fish. Okay, not bad. See, when I calm down and simplify things a little bit, I might catch a fish. Maybe. Okay. Ooh. This guy's feisty. Is this a... Huh? It's a white bass. No wonder he's acting so crazy. Because white bass are crazy. I mean, they are, wow, crazy. Right. Well, today's been a day. Caught. Okay. Look at this. The white bass, he had me around the piling. I was able to finally get him loose. Come here. All right, guys, that'll do it. That's a pretty good variety today, man. I caught fish in all kinds of ways. So uh, it's always fun, man. Thanks for watching, guys. See y'all later.